I do want to welcome in Arizona Congresswoman Debbie Lesko. Congresswoman Lesko is also a member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Congresswoman, welcome to the show. Great to have you. Okay, I do want to switch back to this conversation about President Trump because we had Jim Jordan, James Comer, and Brian Stiles today sending a letter demanding testimony from Manhattan DA Alvin Braggs for seeking this indictment of former President Trump. Many people have pointed out, as we just did, that this seems very politicized from Alvin Bragg, that he really was digging deep to find some dirt and try to bring something up. But then you have people on the left saying, actually, what Republicans are trying to do in, the co in Congress is actually extremely political as well. Why are you getting involved in former President Trump's legal battles? How would you respond to that? Well, I was on Judiciary Committee during the first impeachment of Donald Trump, so I saw firsthand how the Democrats in the Clinton campaign made up, just made up this whole Russian collusion stuff. And, you know, there was bad actors in the FBI, and so they've been going after him for years. And so to have this liberal DA who's soft on crime for real criminals, but then go after President Trump after the FEC refused to even follow through on the complaint, it's just ridiculous. It's, it's totally political. They just can't get over Donald Trump. They hate him so much that they keep going after him. And so, you know, it's like more of the same. It's, it's a sad state of affairs. Congressman, I know you, you're, you're joining us uh, from the Republican retreat down there in the Orlando area. Tell us what the big takeaway is uh, from what you guys are, are doing down there in Orlando as a conference. Yeah, it's, it's a work conference, so I wouldn't really call it a retreat. I know they call it that, but it's not, it's not very fun. <laughs> we're doing a lot of work, so we're, we're working from 8 in the morning till like 9 o'clock at night. And we're basically having discussions on how Republicans are going to get our country back on track, how we're going to reduce the cost of living for Americans, how we're going to make America energy independent, how we're going to secure the border. And we're discussing different pieces of legislation that the committees are going to put through to, to accomplish those goals. And so we're doing a lot of work. I think it's very helpful because we have many of the members here and we're discussing it and asking questions, answering questions from the leadership. And so I, I think it's great. Okay, so you are on the Energy and Commerce Committee, and as you mentioned there, you're talking about America becoming energy independent. I know that there is a bill that you all have talked about, H.R. 1, trying to lower energy costs, increase production of U.S. energy. How big of a conversation is that right now? How big of a push is that going to be coming out of this so-called retreat? Well, it's our number one priority bill. As you know, uh, we number bills, number one through 10, as Republicans' top priority, and this is H.R. 1. <laughs> so making America energy independent is going to help with our economy. It's going to help lower the cost of living. It's going to help lower the cost of gasoline. And so it's a huge issue here. It's very important, not only to Republicans, but to everyone in our nation, whether they're Republican, Democrat, or independent, we want to pay less for when we go to the grocery store. We want to pay less at the gas pump. And that is our priority. That is the number one issue that is facing Americans is they can't afford to live. They can't afford to go out to eat. They can't afford gas for their car. And we're trying to help them. Congressman, before, you, before I let you go, I know the top of the agenda today uh, National Republican Congressional Committee Chairman Richard Hudson gave uh, a presentation on where, what seats are being targeted and how you guys are going to keep the majority. There are some rumors that you may step down after this cycle. Can you confirm or deny those reports? <laughs> No, I'm running again. I've already collecting signatures uh, to run again for Congress. So I don't know if there's some opponents of mine out there that are spreading this rumor, but I'm running again. All right. You heard it here first. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us and thanks for breaking the, the news with us. All right. Thank you. That's awesome. All right.